Slows down by Dixon. Timoshuk trying to find. Well, Cole got in there before Vorobier could, but Vorobier again the danger man. That's the first time he's peeled away wide to try and get into some space. Timoshuk playing, playing some good balls around from the midfield. This is Bakura. Confident run. And he'll get there too. And he will keep it in and pull it back and force a corner out of virtually nothing. Excellent work from Alexi Bakura. Well, they've got a nice little partnership going because Timoshuk's just sitting deep, knocking long and short. Bakura is the one. Be more creative. Gets behind the front too. And that was superb play from him. It's put in towards the penalty spot. And Swingley headed back to where it came from. Then it's Bakura. Up against Will Tor. The turn and shot, and what a save from Taylor. He had to get down so quickly and did just that. First exam is passed with flying colours. Well, Bakarev likes to get it on his left, but I, took a, I think it took a little deflection as well on the way, which made it an even better save. Here's Henri. Trying to poke it through towards the arriving Laurent. It's Wiltor who shoots. That's too much elevation. It's a promising break. Started by Thierry Henry. Not quite finished by Wiltor. Well, it was a good run by Laurent in the end. He took the defender away. The defender away. Allowed Wiltor at the turn. Get his shot in. A little disappointing in the end. He got underneath it so much. Just leaned back. Should have been really looking to get over that. And make the goalkeeper work. Peronqua. Laurent, to spark Arsenal into something here. Wiltor to the left, his favourite. Good strike for Wiltor! But the free kick is given against Arsenal. And Wiltor, with a very head flag indeed, is a gesture of being offside. Well, that's when I'd like to see again, because when it was played to him by Laurent, I thought he looked on. And Wiltor was looking across the line, I thought he timed it perfectly. And once he did get it out of his feet, what a finish. I mean, we're not going to see from that angle. I thought... Initially, it was slightly behind them, but what a finish it was. This will finally prove it. Did he go? Oh, I, I think that's level. I think that might have stood. Well, Vivas, he wasn't helped at all by Parler's ball. Well, that atones for his error, but then Lorenz sells Ashley Cole short. He had to quickly change his pace to get that. He wins the secondary header, too. Real talk. Timoshuk was the player doing the tackling, helped out by Bakarev, and they prove a very useful duo. Pass forward towards Atelkin, it'll have to be judged, it isn't by Keon, and it's hit the post and gone in, and Shakhtar Donetsk have taken the lead. It's Sergei Atelkin who scored. Martin Keown, the hero when these sides met at Highbury just under two months ago, this time caught out. Taylor easily beaten, 1-0. Well, it goes down to a mistake from Martin Keown because the ball has travelled a long way. He seemed to have it under control initially, but once Atelkin got in the position, and he took it very well inside of the post, but you really didn't fancy he was going to miss it. Parler. Dixon. Try the next players back in numbers. Dixon still looking for Lorraine. Now it's Kanu. Let's get a trick or two from the Nigerian. Henri waiting in support. Henri around Zuboff. Now checking back. Still Thierry Henri. Can try a shot on goal. Yuri Viet was watching it wide. I think the goalkeeper knew where it was going, but Henri doing really well for Arsene Wenger's side there. Making space, finding room. And the shot couldn't have been hit too much better. Okoronkwo shrugs off Parler. Here's Timoshuk straight against Vivas. Forward towards the strong running Henri. And he's just pulling away from the shoulder of Okoronkwo. Still Henri going down, looking pleadingly towards the referee, but no decision in his favour. Helped up by Isaac Okoronkwo. Has to rub salt into the wounds. Well, it almost mirrored the move that led to the goal we've had up to now. I think really Okoronkwo slipped in the end. I don't think he was really going to the ground to try and play the ball. Yeah, he slipped. Yeah. 
Here's Vivas. Good little break from the Argentinian. He wants it back from Wiltor. Took a deflection. It came off pop off back under the shins of Nelson Vivas. It's a goal kick to Shep Cardenas. First time the central midfielder has chapped his arm getting forward. Yeah, he's been happy just to anchor the midfield and he's done it reasonably well. I think there was just enough bodies back and he was hoping for a lucky break in the end when it came back off him, but not to be. There's one over the top for Vorovie. Vorovie holding off his man. He's found Bielik. Bielik with the shots and it just pulled off his left boot. It's taken a deflection. In fact, offside is the decision given. It was Dixon who came across quickly. Upson there too. And the youngster, the 19-year-old, just straying too early onto Vorovie's service. Again, I think this could be a wrong call. I mean, that's not the angle to see it on, but it was similar in many respects to Will Towards in the first half. Oh, may maybe half a yard, difficult to tell, but again, marginal, and the flag was up very quickly. This is Carnu trying to break into the box. Dixon. Now Carla. Henri, threatening to run at the defence, nearly broke through and it's a good shot in the end, Lorraine putting it just a little too close to the goalkeeper. A little brighter from Arsenal. I think you could see the idea from Lorraine, he was just trying to curl it into the far post, it was a lovely little dummy in the end, he just wants to bend it round. It was uh, very easy for the keeper in the end, straight at him and, and turn it. Now a free kick goes against Martin Kieran once more. England man having a very difficult evening. It's Bierlich again. What a thorn in the side he's been in the couple of minutes he's been on the pitch. It's Vivas actually with the final challenge. Bierlich holding his head. The referee blowing his whistle. And a free kick to Shakhtar. Andre Vorofie. Looks as if he wants this one all on his own. The captain, top off might just uh, pull rank. And he's now drifted forward himself. It's going to be Vorovye. He's over the wall! And it's beaten Taylor! And it's 2-0 Shakhtar Donetsk! A wonderful free kick from Vorovye! We picked him out as the main danger before kick-off. And he shows us just why. Taylor didn't see it early enough. I mean, you have to commend the finish. It was a wonderful execution. You knew exactly what he was doing. Got it over the wall just enough. It's always wide of Stuart Taylor. And it's, it's an excellent finish. This is Ljungberg. Chancing a run against Zubov. Starastjok is the extra defender covering. His job well. He hasn't quite kept it in though. It's going to be a throw to Arsenal. Shakhtar the net seemingly on course for a place in the UEFA Cup, and oh, only, there'll be a handful for some teams in the draw there. The draw for the UEFA Cup next round and uh, the Champions League second group phase to take place in Geneva on Friday. Here's Will Tor. Levetskis with the tackle. Arsenal have to avoid any other English club and also Lazio, the other team to go through from this group. This is Timoshuk. The service has to be good towards Bielek. Oh, what a finish that is. A sweeping move and a wonderful goal. It's 3-0. It's the substitute Bielek who's got this one. One end to the other at pace, precise. They're playing with such confidence now. Well, it was a great break by Timoshuk. Wonderful cross from Vorovye. Really not good defending, it has to be said, for Martin Kjern when it finally came in. Mis misjudged it again, and Bielek had a relatively simple task and, and took it finally. Ljungberg. Ljungberg's continued his run, and he gets there before Vert! And it's just wide of the post. Well, that was going to be the moment when Arsenal at least took something back to Highbury from their long trip to Eastern Europe, but no. Credit to, again, to Okoronkwo for tracking Ljungberg. Just adjusted his pace to make sure he kept with the Swede. Vert the goalkeeper out quickly. Agonising. To be honest, I thought he was going to finish it off. 
because Lundberg has done that perfectly. Bakura. Zubok with the turn and he's caught by Loren. He had now just about played the two minutes of injury time. And Shakhtar the next won't even have time to take the free kick. The referee picks up the ball and Shakhtar the next pick up a place in the UEFA Cup at least. For Arsenal, never mind. They knew they were already through to the second group stage of this season's Champions League. They haven't gone out of the first group phase with a bang. It's finished Shakhtar the next three. Arsenal nil. Of course, we would have loved uh, to come back with a better result, but they, in fairness to them, uh, they played very well, we were sharp, uh, fast, on the breaks, and uh, uh, won the 50-50, I think. It was really difficult out there, and everyone um, you know, put the effort in. It just wasn't be to be tonight, and you know, it's a good job we didn't have to come here and win, wasn't it? If England's deficiencies are on Sven Goran Eriksson's mind, he's hiding it well. In Group B's other game, Lazio had no need to win in Prague, but seemed fully focused. Another familiar foreigner on these shores gave Sven just the result he wanted. Fabrizio Ravinelli is back on song under the Swedes' guidance. His goal was the difference between the teams and shattering for the home side. Sparta Prague finish at the foot of the group. It's Shakhtar Donetsk into the UEFA Cup. Despite tonight's defeat, Arsenal proudly on top of Group B, ahead of mighty Lazio and therefore avoiding some big names in the second phase. Oh, that's what they hope. It might not work out it like that, Terry, actually. Work, no. <laughs> they, they, that's always been said, but they could actually play against Juventus and they, or Bayern Munich, Barcelona. Deportivo. Absolutely. So it doesn't necessarily work out that way. I mean, look, if you was looking at Arsenal's group, who would you want to play, Arsenal or Lazio? Well, you know, you can't ask me that, can you? <laughs> hey? <laughs> On the fence? <laughs> well, no. The way they played tonight, definitely, uh, you'd probably say Arsenal. Um, Shakhtar had an incentive tonight. Arsenal didn't. Long journey. <coughs> But defensively tonight, it was yeah. very un-Arsenal-like. It was, it was very un-Arsenal-like. And, uh, and, of course, Keown, who is the most dependable players around at the moment defensively, gets caught here. And even if he doesn't clean it up nicely, gets something on it. He doesn't, and the boy Tyler in goal has got no chance at all. With that yeah, finish. that's a good finish. <clears throat> and it's Martin Keown uh, for the third goal. It was a good free kick. This is the third goal, Terry. Again, he's looking over his shoulder to see where he is. And in actual fact could have stopped maybe a little bit earlier and opened up his body and in the end he's gone past it and flicks out a leg and again a very well taken goal he got punished there's no doubt yeah I mean they were punished all the way through there um, despite that and yeah. despite being below par mm. maybe two justifiable pe um, offside decisions goals that, that Arsenal had I thought they were both good goals I thought that uh, they were very unfortunate here Lauren plays a ball there I think you'll see that he's at He's level, and if not, you've got to give him the benefit of the doubt. I, I think he's timed his run perfectly, and he takes it beautifully. He just looks, opens up so you can see the ball and the goal, the target, plays it in as it, cool as you like. If there's doubt with that, the one in the second half involving Henri well, in the middle there. This, this is, is, no way is he anywhere near offside, nor is Parler on the near side of the picture. And you'll see when the ball gets played through, how long the linesman takes to put his flag up. He's not, here it is. He's a day late. Mm. <laughs> At least a day late. 24 hours even. Um, <laughs> the bigger picture for Arsenal, Terry, yeah. they seem to be determined. They, you know, they've got Arsene Wenger there. They want to be in with the likes of Manchester United and Barcelona. Oh. Today they've announced mm. a, a huge stadium, £100 yeah. million. Pounds. Yeah, it's a 60,000-seater. It's only eight, 800 yards, apparently, from Highbury. And as you can see there, that is absolutely beautiful. So they are really thinking big. There's no way they want to get left behind. And they're not getting left behind. Well, maybe tonight, but not normally. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they've got to do that to compete, yeah. haven't they, really? I mean, they, Absolutely. They've got to look to mean business. They've been doing that now regularly. They're consistent. And uh, you, you've got to say, well done. They've got to keep Arsene Wenger, Terry. And they'll certainly be looking forward to Friday's draw, won't they? Uh, yeah, Very I proud. Think, of I, I think that's right. Mm. Absolutely. OK, well, still plenty of goal action to come. Four more games to bring you and a special strike or two in store.